Hi everyone. Um, just thought I would pop on today and show you um, something that's taken me uh, the best part of three days to make. Um, honestly, not three whole days, uh, but three days of interruptions. Um, I kind of, I'm a very clean and simple girl, as most of you know. Um, I do appreciate the work that goes into some of these fantastic cards that you see. Um, and because stamping up has always been a part-time venture for me um it always seems that when i've got cards to make for family members and people like that it's oh you have to make one obviously because it's expected and you want to um but i always find that i leave them all all quite clean and simple um but it's a special birthday for my mum this week in fact tomorrow um so it's got to be done so now i'm doing stamping up full time of course i can take three days to make a card <laughs> um but it's not just a card it's a card in a box um i mean yeah i even make made a box and i don't really do boxes either but this card really couldn't fit in an envelope so um i just uh, made a box just happened to make a box that do so i just wanted to kind of show it to you um i have got another video that's going to be coming out um showing you how to make parts of it and i actually go through everything on the card as well um but I thought, let, let's start with this. So this is the box that I've made. Um, I've made it just using 12 by 12 um, Whisper White cardstock. So it's not too thick, but I have reinforced it with a few things. Um, and I'm going to do another video as well that shows you how to make um, a standard box for a card and how to work out how to what sizes to make your boxes to um, fit cards in. So this is my box. So it's a one inch sided box for a six by six card. Um, and as I've said, and as you can guess from that, it's for my mum. <laughs> Using the colours of Soft Sky and Pear Pizzazz. Um, so I've done a little little bow and a bit of ribbon in Soft Sky through there. And I've stamped, so I've kept the bottom white, but I've stamped the top. So this is um, a branch from Petal Palette, she says. It's that branch there from Petal Palette. And the smaller is from the Painted Harvest. Painted Harvest has been carried over, so we can still get it at the moment. It was in the Autumn Winter Catalogue. So it's just that solid leaf image there. Um, and I've done first impression and second impression. So what that means, for those that don't know, um, is by putting your stamp in your ink pad. So I've inked it up. I've stamped once. That's the first impression. In fact, <laughs> I'm going to find it difficult to find. I think they're underneath there. So, oh, there you go. That, that's the second impression. So rather than go back and ink it up again, I've just stamped it. So that one's quite dark and that one's lighter. So a mixture, well, actually, look, that's easier to show you. That's a first impression there and that's the second impression there. So that gives you an idea. Um, so let's open. Dun, 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 dun. And before I show you the card... <laughs> this is where I just said that I, I reinforce the sides. So this is actually two layers of card rather than just one. In fact, it's, no, it's three in total. Um, and then I've reinforced the lid with a piece of pear pizzazz as well, which I could have stamped, but I've left plain. And this is the amazing card. And I can only say amazing, not because I'm bigging myself up, but because actually this was inspired stroke cased and I've, I've now I've done it I've kind of ripped it up a little bit but this card here so I saw this card and um, by Artful Stamping Ruth at Artful Stamping and I just thought wow I love it love it love it love it so that is my cased stroke gone off on a bit of a different tangent <laughs> different leaves um, and different colours and things like that so there we go. So, so I've got go through the card and I'm even let's say the video that I've got. Um, I've just shown you how to make these flowers. This is something that I made years ago um, and I wasn't going to share. And I just thought, actually, new crafters come along all the time. So um, you might not know how to make those flowers. And they're literally just made from a circle of card. But you can have a couple of variations as well. So I show you how to make that. So I just thought I would share that with you. So there we go. And because you can't leave any card naked in the inside you've got that there so we've got some leaves going across the top again first impression and second impression a sentiment and a few layers it also because the front is quite heavy putting some inside layers just means it's not going to fall over so 
um, you can see there I've added some detail, some dimension up there. But yeah, there we go. So I thought I'd share that with you. Just because I'm super proud of it really, just because it's completely out of my style normally. A, because it's taken me so long. Um, so even co copying and having inspiration from um, a different card still took me so long to do, still took me so long. I think mixture of colours and what was I going to do with the colours and how was I going to do things and, and all things like that. But this this soft sky here is my mum's favourite colour. Um, she likes, loves the light blue, so that's why I went that colour. So there we go. I'm going to leave you with that with you. And uh, just thought I would share. See you later. Bye.